I'm Ellis Martin. Join me now for a conversation with Martin Stein, the CFO of Altec Batteries Limited. Trading as ATC on Australia's ASX and in the US on the OTC as ALTHF. Altec Batteries is commercializing a 120 megawatt hour solid state sodium chloride battery production facility to produce one megawatt hour grid packs for the European grid energy market and is also at the cutting edge of developing battery materials for a lithium ion battery future by successfully incorporating silicon and graphite anodes to produce higher energy density batteries. Mr. Stein is a finance and corporate executive with over 20 years of international experience. He has held the positions of chief financial officer and company secretary in several ASX listed companies. In these roles, Mr. Stein has been responsible for all aspects of capital raising, financial management, shareholder liaison, and corporate governance. Martin has provided corporate services for companies listed on the LSE, New York Stock Exchange, and the AIM, including Colgate Palmolive, Sony, Heinz, DHL Express and Bosch. Martin, thank you so much for joining me today on the program. It's great to meet you. It's great to introduce you to our audience. It's a pleasure, Ellis. Thank you for having me. If you don't mind, give us a quick overview of Altec Batteries. All right. So what I'd like to talk about is the one project we're looking at, which is called the Salumina Anodes Project. And that involves Altec using its patented technology to coat silicon with a nanometer layer of high purity alumina and we're able to get that silicon into the anode section of a lithium ion battery, which is traditionally pure graphite, but it's allowing us to get the silicon into the anode of a lithium ion battery and it's increasing the capacity by 10%, sorry, 10 times what graphite is capable of doing. Silicon is the industry's way forward for increasing the capacity of lithium ion batteries, but it has its challenges because swelling and it's cracking and what Altec is doing is coating it and the high purity alumina coating is enabling that silicon to get into the anode so it's really a exciting project that is increasing the capacity of lithium ion batteries are you eliminating the need for graphite in these batteries not entirely. We envisage that we will get 10% of silicon into the battery. So we'll replace 10% of the graphite with 10% silicon. So it'll be a 90% graphite, 10% silicon anode. But even the 10% silicon will have a large increase in the capacity. One of the problems we've seen over the years is retention of battery life and capacity. Will this process using the alumina help mitigate that? That's correct. It is the first cycle loss that's an issue. And graphite has it as well. Graphite loses about 10%, but silicon loses so much more because of its reactiveness. It's so much more reactive than graphite. Uncoated silicon actually loses about 50% on the first cycle loss. We're coating it. Our coating technology is encapsulating the silicon and stopping that first cycle loss from occurring. Basically, what is the use for these particular batteries overall? We're looking at lithium-ion batteries for EVs, right? So lithium-ion batteries for EVs, the market is trying to increase the capacity and the range. Silicon's been identified as the way of doing that because it holds so much more lithium than graphite does. But it has its challenges in that it's so reactive, it swells and it cracks. So the industry is trying to solve the problem of getting silicon into the anode section of a battery and the way that Altec is doing it is by coating it with a high purity alumina. Since we're talking about EVs here specifically, I know in Europe it's cold there. In various parts of the U.S., we've got cold temperatures, and that's been a problem with power retention and range in these vehicles. Will that mitigate that, this process? Yes, it will. Look, we think the battery manufacturers will have the ability to reduce the size of the battery and therefore the cost and achieve the same range or they'll be able to increase the range of the batteries with the same amount of graphite in the anode the range and the capacity problems that the ev batteries are having how substantial of a range increase can we expect Are you willing to speculate on that I can do more than speculate, Ellis. I can actually give you the results of our testing that we've done some pouch cell testing in our laboratory. We've actually achieved a 30% increase in the capacity of the battery by including the coated silicon in the anode. So it's quite that, significant. That is a big number, especially 
as far as I'm concerned. I've got a two-year-old Tesla Model S with a range deficiency. It's not what it was when it originally came on the market when I originally purchased the car. And that would possibly take it up to about uh, 700 miles, which is quite significant, or maybe 900 kilometers per charge. And it's interesting you, you mentioned Tesla because Tesla actually came out and said at their last investor day that the solution to increasing the range and the capacity is to get silicon into the anode. So the industry is well aware of the capabilities of silicon, but no one's really solved the problem yet. And that's what we're looking to. Are you already talking with Tesla? You can't answer that question. I can't answer it in a roundabout way, Ellis. Let me just say that if we were talking to Tesla, it'd be on a confidential basis. And I wouldn't be able to say that we were talking to them. Does this mean I have to buy a new Tesla when this technology is, is on the market potentially, or will there be some sort of retrofit available? Do you know? Look, I, I don't see it being put into vehicles retrospectively. I think it would be an addition to new vehicle sales. Okay, fair enough. What further developments can we see with Altec during the next six months? What I would like to share with your listeners, Ellis, is we have just finished a definitive feasibility study for the Salumina Anodes project. Now, the results of that are very promising because we've got land in Germany that we will be building the plant on to produce 8,000 tons per annum of the Salumina Anodes product. And the economics that have just been released for that study show that it's a very economical project. It's got an MPV at 10% of 600 and 84 million euros, and it's got an internal rate of return of 34% and a payback period on a modest amount of capital of about 112 million. Payback period is about 2.4 years. So we're really encouraged by the results of that DFS. And it's really positive in being able to show that this project is economical and there's a good chance it will achieve finance to construct the plant. Martin, it's been great chatting with you today. Thank you very much for the update. I look forward to another chat in the very near future. Have a great holiday. You're welcome, Ellis. Thank you very much for your time. Bye for now. I've been speaking with Martin Stein, the CFO of Altec Batteries Limited, trading as ATC on Australia's ASX and in the U.S. on the OTC as ALTHF. Find the complete story on the company's website, altechgroup.com. This is the Ellis Martin Report. Would you like to be one of the first to see who we are following? Subscribe to our audio newsletter. It's free. EllisMartinReport.com.